we are going through some exciting phase in the history of India because uh, you know the diplomatic relationships with Japan and India is an all-time high. We are soon going to have our first bullet train Shinkansen applying between Mumbai and Ahmedabad probably you know it very well. So you know there's a lot of interesting facets of the Japan and India relationship. You know the Japan is such a small country probably the area wise Japan is like our Uttar Pradesh or Bangladesh but according to GDP nominal Japan is one of the richest. The Japanese economy is now the third richest in the world. You know and Japan tops in most of the human development indices but they do have problems of their own. Can you guess what the problem? Yes, the Japanese population is shrinking. The growth rate, last year's growth rate is minus 0.1 so per annum. So there is actually shrinking population. So it's not a good news at all for the Japanese economy, right? But on a positive note, yes, it's good for the foreigners like Indians. And especially at this particular time, the Japanese government and Indian government, the diplomatic relationship is really, really, you know, an all-time high. In 2013, the Japanese emperor, Akihito, had visited India. And subsequently, Shinzo Abe paid almost three times a visit here. And vice versa, our Prime Minister Modi has paid visit to Tokyo two times. And a number of, uh, uh, you know, international pacts have signed up. So it's really exciting time uh, for India-Japan diplomatic relationships, you know. But for Indians, what is actually the challenge here? A lot of job opportunities in Japan is now getting open for foreigners because of the shrinking population. The main challenge, can you guess, why Indians don't, you know, prefer to go to Japan? Most of the Indians go to Canada, US, or Europe. What's the problem with Japan? Any guesses? Yes, the problem is language, the Japanese language. Nihongo wa sonna ni muzukashi ku nai desu yo. Jugyo ga hajimarimashou ka? Punjabu kokuruchi daigaku e yokoso. What did I said in Japanese? It means Japanese is not a tough language at all. Let's start learning some basic Japanese. Welcome to Central University of Punjab. By the way, the Japanese word muzukashi is like the Hindi word mushkil. See the similarity? Indian language and Japanese language are surprisingly a lot similar. You know, I was really fortunate uh, to be selected by the Ministry of HRD in an international PhD program called Monbu Show and gotten a chance to visit Japan in 2005. And I profoundly thank Indian government to nominate me to Japanese government. And I also thank Japanese government for having selected me for this particular program. And in 2005, when I first went to Japan, you know what I felt in the first week or two weeks? I felt like I visited a, an alien place, you know, a, an altogether different planet. Because the language is arcane. People speak in an entirely undecipherable language, a court language for me. So it took some time for me to pick up the language and fortunately I registered myself for a year long you know Japanese language program of the university where I was registered there. So the intensive Japanese program really helped me to pick up the language and in the next four years of my stay in Japan I kept on improving my Japanese language. You know in 2010 I graduated, I completed my PhD and I joined back here in Central University of Punjab. And since then, I started working here. And what is the problem? The problem is that if you do not keep on track with that particular language, yes, you will forget it, right? So instead of forgetting that particular language, I did one tactic. Can you guess, you know, the best way not to forget a language is not just by reading that language or listening to the language, but teaching, yes. I teach Japanese language here since 2010. Yeah. Is Japanese a tough language? Surprisingly, it's not. One tip that I often give to my student is to learn Japanese from your own language, your own mother tongue, rather than, you know, depending English to learn that particular foreign language. 
so you know there is a lot of connection of japanese family and indian family indian language families my own research on philo linguistics computational philo linguistics have, re have revealed uh, a great connection between japonic language family and dravidian language family so if you're learning japanese from your own mother tongue rather than from english you can pick up this language a lot more faster because of the internal deep connection between japanese and indian language families since 2010 i have been teaching japanese language here in the central university of punjab informally now i'm super excited that mhrd ministry of human resource and development is offering a new platform called swayam platform for the mooc so i hope i can host my japanese language program trainings through the mooc platform now onwards so what i'm proposing here in this course is that the course will cover the elementary japanese language so it will cover everyday japanese language skill that you would like to have it for example the greetings we will also be covering basic japanese vocabulary so that you will know how to actually speak uh, you know the, the various simple words in japanese simple sentence construction i will teach you how to construct a japanese sentences and basic grammar as well i will also teach you different uh, you know the writing systems in japan uh, for example hiragana katakana and kanji these are different writing systems in japan so i will teach you all these things and uh, of course the grammar as well by the end of this course what can you expect can you be a fluent japanese speaker of course not this is only a starting point you know but it's a it's a good enough starting point for you to choose you know more advanced japanese language courses it will help you to crack jlpt as well you know there is a test called jlpt japanese language proficiency program which is like TOEFL or IELTS for the Japanese language. So if you are really serious uh, into learning Japanese, probably you will have to take JLPD and this particular course will help you out to crack JLPD. If you are planning to take up a foreign language, for example, French, German, Spanish, or even Chinese, you should seriously consider taking up Japanese language because I've already told you Japan India diplomatic relationships are all time high and there are a lot of ample of opportunities for Indians you know in Japan in forthcoming years so there is a lot of job opportunities in uh, Japan and uh, in Japanese I told you there is a character called kanji that I'll be teaching you as part of this program and kanji characters are very similar to the Chinese characters so you can understand Chinese if you know you know the meaning of the, the kanji characters the Japanese and Chinese are entirely different language so Japanese learning Japanese will not help you to pick up Chinese but these characters you'll be able to see that I had been to many different countries till now for example US Canada all around Europe for example UK France Germany you not know, Denmark Norway Sweden but nowhere else in the world you can expect you know the kind of respect that you get in Japan I was in Japan for five years and till date not a single incident of racial discrimination in Japan consider recently I had been to Antarctica in a Russian vessel it's just for four months trip but in during these four months I had been you know through those kind of racial discrimination that kind of incidents a number of incidents happened with Russians this is five years long the Japanese culture is totally concentrated towards politeness and respect especially for we Indians you know what Japanese consider Indians as India is the home of Buddha so Indians as very good with mathematics mathematics jigs they actually respect indians so that's one of the reason for you to choose japanese language as well why not please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and take up this course so as part of this particular mooc if you register and upon successful completion you know you can earn a certification you know the formal certification of the japanese language course here thank you